Okay, now. So, there's a recording session, so we're here. Right, if we take a look back again, okay, this is basically uh, one of the, for me, it's very rough sketches there, okay, but the sketches that I did were based from uh, the reference itself, but I kind of like uh, recreate a little bit kind of design, okay, that based on the sketches that, that, that been guided from those reference there. Even though this kind of what we call that process, a little bit kind of not quite, uh, it's a standard kind of process, but it will have a bit kind of what we call that, uh, a bit kind of way that we try to draw on top of the laser, okay? Not just draw directly from uh, our imaginations, okay? Like, I'm actually supposed to do normally the right because normally okay, when I actually design some of the some of the methods that it works on, I do basically develop basically from my imagination that came from this experience that I had okay but this method that I want to show you guys basically is more proper way to show basically how some people especially me basically see things in my head and i develop back again on a piece of paper or in any blank kind of uh, what we call that canvas kind of works like or digital kind of canvas kind of works there okay so how actually i think the okay? it basically or generally that you works there there can be a lot of way you guys can produce that but basically right now i show you guys generally how i actually develop some of the ideas there because this is basically Restriction based on the reference there, okay? Normally, right, okay, we're going to draw from basic structures, right, can develop more further kind of creative kind of process of developments there, okay, according to our skill and understanding there, okay? But this is basically a general kind of way how people think, how people construct those ideas inside their mind and their head. And then they transfer back again into those papers there, right, okay? So this is how actually generally how people think, not uh, what we call that you can use the whole thing directly all the time, okay? But this is generally how people can look at things, how to look at ideas there, all right? How are you going to look at ideas there, okay? Some people say, okay, say I don't have any ideas, so I take some a week to thinking of the ideas again. Okay? Bullshit there, guys. I know basically, okay, there's a certain kind of, uh, what we call that times. I also have some, some sort of hard time to develop some of the ideas for my kind of client works there, okay? So I done a few number kind of sketches that works on that, okay? I actually had that kind of what we call that, that kind of burnt out, man artist kind of what we call that creative kind of blocks, okay? But even though there's a few number kind of rough ideas or some of the developments that have been made from other people's there. It might can be used, but I will take a very long kind of way or journey in the basic to, to digest all the those, all those informations before basically I'm going to construct back again on my own way. Because not all informations that we get visually from other people's, we can actually use directly towards on that. Okay? Because to develop some of the unique way to approach all those design and illustration works, it takes quite a number of time there. But if you have a direct kind of information, which is what I actually have been giving you guys right now, basically, it's not basically some subjective elements there. I give you a direct, clear kind of understanding or elements that you should actually uh, find basically okay search as a part of your reference there okay directly there okay i don't give you guys some subjective kind of uh what we call a brief kind of understanding that you have to figure it out oh uh, what kind of how actually i'm going to work on that there okay you don't have to think how the package works on that you have to think what type of elements that you should actually use to apply back again to your reference and to your subject matters there. What type of characters that you're going to design, not how actually you're going to find those reference there. 
you understand what I mean here? It's not about how. How basically, yes, we can actually go back into how we're actually going to draw them. What kind of techniques? What kind of techniques we actually answer back again? We question back again, what kind of technique are you going to apply directly? Drawing styles, technique methods, and illustration approach, okay, those shadings and shades there, right? Using those type of brushes that we have created. You already have those answers there. Right now, what type of elements or subject methods that you're going to combine with with your reference there? Not how you're going to find them. It's no matter how they're right. What I actually have some sort of difficulty, basically, okay, back in the days there, okay, I want to share you guys some of the works that have been done, okay? Looks quite very, it's quite simple there, okay? But I didn't have any kind of that, uh, those uh, sample of some of the works anymore there, okay? Some of those things that I've been working on or there's progressions kind of works there, okay? But I can share you guys basically uh, one of the things that I've been working on before there, right? Okay, one of the thing is, uh, okay, let me check there, right? So many things I've been working on there, right? But this is some of the work that I actually did with uh, one of the university, right? Okay? Not, not how you see, okay, because I have a crossover kind of what we call that, uh, work for other universities there, okay but this is basically some special project that we did okay um it's not a huge project there, okay but it's a very research and development and pre-productions kind of projects there, right so this project we call um panglima awang there, okay? it's a quite a myth and a legends kind of stories there but the earlier kind of developments from this project have been made by those students and some of those uh, so-called lectures there, okay, I think, okay, uh, from the projects there, right? So they haven't made some of the developments there, but the problem that they have from there, they don't have basically those, the proper kind of design there that can be made into an animations kind of, uh, what we call that, uh, contender, right, okay? Because those design, even though some of them is quite very nice and has the aesthetical, aesthetical kind of understanding of value there, okay, quality, but it doesn't mean it can be made in animations. Okay? Okay? Because they want to combine the shadow play kind of concept design with, uh, with the animations kind of styles, there, with the modern animations, 3D animation kind of styles. So it's quite very, very raw and also rare okay, at the times to work on that kind of ideas there. So when I get this kind of what we call that brief and also discussion with those kind of clients there, right? I had a few number kind of visuals that play inside my mind, okay? How to execute them correctly there, but I need to find the right kind of design in a very short time, okay, in order for me to come up with that kind of idea. That even though those ideas that actually been made had to develop a bit more further before they're going to work with those 3D, but I cannot see basically quite clear those kind of 3D kind of uh, what we call that results that they actually have been made, okay, the output there, okay. And that's why those are the things I'm quite frustrated a bit, okay. But um, I managed to develop that kind of designs properly, basically, for those projects, which is, I find, quite very interesting, there, right? And it has a very good kind of potentials from there. But the person who actually we, uh, used, uh, basically, is my friend, basically, right? Who actually, in the different studios, have been developed that kind of 3D applications, the 3D kind of models were not quite very finalized with those kind of ideas there. And they also, I think, they quite feel a bit kind of worried to show back again to me directly. Because um, normally, when I actually write, conduct some of the projects, 
I will basically going to be focused more on those final kind of works there. Okay, the process of working is a part of the process that I need to be uh, experienced there, right? But uh, the end of the sessions, okay, where is it? Really the, the, the samples there, okay? I think I actually have been made, okay. It's a sketches that have been made there. Okay? I have to find that. Hopefully, you guys can wait for a while. I think there is. Okay. Okay. I think the projects are going to be right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Panglima Awang, right? Oh yes, this is the one. Okay, this is the one, right? All right. This is some. Of, this is a few number kind of clean up uh, lineup design that I actually. You guys can see the screen, right? Okay, this is basically uh, one of the lineup kind of design, already. Character design that actually have been made for those pre-productions kind of works. Even though those design, basically, if you saw, basically, it's quite. I don't know whether it's quite simple to you guys or not, there, right? Okay, this one. Okay, check look over here. Okay, this is basically those design that I create there. Right? But I take a few months, basically, right? I think one or two months, basically, to deliver this kind of design, right? One of the thing is because I've done a few number kind of sketches on my sketchbooks there to develop and research on the styles that I'm going to come up with, okay? I'm combining those uh, wooden doll from those Mexican kind of design and also wayang kulit or shadow play kind of design at the same time directly with these kind of uh, characters there, okay, with these styles there, right? I mix them up there, right? But I don't want to have the very conventional kind of styles there of Wayang Kulit. Why? Because it's basically are going to be have a two-dimensional kind of looks only there. But with design, with this design, we can actually design into three-dimensional kind of characters there, okay? So I came up with this kind of ideas that I'm quite happy with this, the results because I spent around two months there. Uh, and been argue a little bit and also have the professional kind of argument with the with the clients that we sell okay because they push a little bit more further on the deadline okay they want to make it more clear okay but they don't understand basically okay? because we had basically had a hard time to develop these ideas there to come up with this kind of ideas there okay? at, 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 a, at, a, at a certain kind of period of time there it's look quite yeah, this is basically those design, but to come up with this kind of ideas, basically originally directly, originally directly, it's quite hard because I've done a few number kind of sketches there. There's a multiple kind of sketches, especially based on the main characters there, like Palingma Awang, and also this guy directly. And the rest of it, when I actually have that kind of ideas there, there are, that I have that kind of mold of structures directly in the correct way start to begin to, to jive and and dive a bit more back there right okay and this is basically the monsters that i create there right this monster that i create especially this guy that it is fire ape were based on the barungan kind of character why i call it characters kind of styles like elements there right okay so i combine those uh those apes gorilla and also a, a monster, right? a monster of lava, right? okay, that came from those uh, what we call that uh, volcano kind of mountains, there, okay, elements there, okay, in order to develop this design. So I'm saying this is not that easy, and I actually had a quite hard time there, okay, to come up with this idea here, because one of the thing is because we have to go through with those three D kind of positions there okay not only one position there guys right now what you're going to draw inside basically your projects you're going to work with maybe one or two different kind of positions there okay but you have those reference there but right here the only reference that i have is from those reference from those apes 
and I have to come up with these ideas that combine all the elements of rock, volcanoes, okay, and try to design a different kind of styles that works on that. This is from Hydra, okay, hit there, okay, these dragons there. And this is some of the sea elephants there, okay, that came from combination with the whales. All right, okay. This one is sea cucumbers that based from leech, okay, and combined with some of those snakes there, maybe they were okay. So all this kind of we call that idea that I came out there, okay, not came from only pure imaginations, but came from experience. And I refer a lot also from of those animated kind of Disney animations kind of style there. So I'm not actually doing everything on my own. That not from uh, from any reference there, right? Okay, I did basically did a lot of research from there. And this is basically some model sheet there, right? A model sheet that based on the characters there. Okay, so when when I actually have designed the three quarter view there, okay, this is one of the the first design that actually came out. The final first design that actually came out from those ideas there. And then I start to think about how actually these characters are going to be looked in three different positions there without changing the essence and the structures of these characters there. That's why we develop the structures based from the basic shape there, right, guys? Okay? So I refer with some animated kind of animations like uh, LT Gray, there, right, okay? Uh, from those Mexican kind of animators, right, okay? And producers there. And Book of Life, there, right, okay? all these kind of animations there to make sure that I can actually right, have that kind of influence and also some sort of like reference there in order to guide me to develop some unique kind of approach on these animations. Okay, so looks quite simple, but it's not that easy there guys to work on that. Trust me on that, all right? So it takes a lot of times and commitments to work on that. Okay, this is basically a uh, uh, some ideas that I create, okay, some sort of reference, okay, can you see there, okay, from those reference of those uh, mass of those barongan there, okay, from the kind of wayangkulit kind of elements, and the gorilla is at the position of those gorilla that I actually recreate back again from this one, but I redesign them back, okay, and the, then and the three court and the side profiles of this uh, mass basically is quite hard, basically the head kind of is quite hard for me to design there, right, okay? So we have to be careful and understand all these three-dimensional kind of looks there. So all these kind of things, it's not happen on overnight, you guys. And I start to design basically the compositions, roughly basically, okay, how actually they look in those animations there, according to my concept kind of illustration art there, right? Even though in animations, they're going to be improvise a little bit there okay, later on with the building with the, with, the, with the, all these kind of what we call the scenarios there but i managed basically to come up with some ideas to show basically the actions and the motions uh the the the, the 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 scenarios that happens okay to show basically the kind of elements from here okay from those kind of stories there right so that's what i said okay if you check look at some of the things that that some people do okay if you don't actually right, realize if you don't actually analyze them or learn and do some research but more for the how actually people do things as i actually have shown you guys right now you might say okay oh everyone can design can those kind of work. yes everyone can design okay but either you can design the proper way or not right now, this is some of the scene that i try to visualize there okay on this uh hydra kind of monster okay with those palim our okay I basically write uh, what we call that learn uh, and develop basically those guys should try to show visualize basically the positions the size the scale of these characters both characters when they actually inside this one scene there okay all these kind of things really important there when you design them okay so I said there okay but this project basically really really for me basically is very hard there okay it's a very like a pain in the ass kind of stuff there, right? Okay. So if you guys can see, okay, all this kind of what we call that styles that have been developed there, right? Okay. I have developed basically a few number kind of methods of working there. Okay. Not because I can actually I, I can draw the whole things easily there, but 
it came from those core understanding how to develop those kind of drawing methods there first before we're going to design all this kind of some of the stuff that you want to design in the future is there all right this is some of the things that i've been working if you go to ign already i think they still have this kind of uh, wall kind of murals like a digital wall print kind of murals there already that, that i made basically with some of those uh, uh printers there already which is used to be my friend there already so we done this kind of projects again okay, several years there before and this is some of the sketches that i did there right this is basically some of those um some of the illustrations the final illustration that i did okay and i did developments at the same time right? okay even though some of the elements that they that actually have been designed were not being used to the finalized kind of works right okay? because there is some sort of like they have the unprofessional kind of certain kind of issue i believe that okay? with the spinners project right okay? and this is some of the things that i've done on the wall based on the ai kind of design again okay? so this is basically my personal kind of projects that i did with the clients there okay personal kind of illustration styles <coughs> that i made with the clients there right? all right so i actually write this is some of the doodle kind of characters there that you saw from napi there okay and i actually have been designed also on myself that can be folder okay uh, i think this is around 2000 I can't remember, 2013 there, right? Uh, this is some personal design that we actually have been featured in one of the magazine on Playtime magazine there, right? So this is some of the characters, personal characters there, wall design there, okay? That use basically my own styles that works on that at the times. Hopefully I can actually go back into this kind of styles again, or I'm going to use this kind of elements, okay, to put into NFT later on, okay, well, for one of the series there. So guys, okay, take a look there, guys, okay, if you really want to develop that kind of ideas there, okay, what I actually have been showing you guys, okay, in some of the sample that I did there before, it's a part of the process of journey there, guys, okay. So learn everything, okay, in a proper way. And this is a few of my sketchbooks there. This is only a few of my sketchbook there, guys. I have a ton of sketchbooks there, okay, that have been used as a part of my process of working before I'm going to work with those digital set at times. All right. So that's why, okay, keep your sketchbooks if you have your own sketchbooks there, just to practice yourself, all right? Okay. Uh, this is some of the characters that I did, okay, combining with the chibi and also manga kind of style, but I'm using my own kind of way to approach on those designs there, right? Okay. So. If you think basically you want to pursue yourself there to develop your kind of works there, right? So don't keep on practicing and improve more on your kind of understanding there, all right? To develop your skill from now on. All right. So this is a part of those ID developments there that we actually can go through from here. If you thought basically you want to find some of the reference there, right, okay, from here, okay, let's just say a wolf there, right, okay, characters there, right, a wolf characters there, right, images there, okay, because you want to draw some tails there, maybe, all right, some tails for those characters, okay, so seek for more information on those designs before you're going to represent as a part of your samples, like, don't just paste those kind of elements but you don't actually try to combine them properly on your works there right now. so it's really really had a very proper kind of way because i want to show you guys basically okay uh, from those sample of works uh, how basically you can actually write gather all informations for this week there first all right so i'm going to gather some information there first before i'm going to decide to use uh, some of the images right here back again to develop basically our reference there, right? Okay. Because not all reference you can use there, okay? In order to develop your kind of uh, way to construct and, and manipulate and combine back again 
okay, with your kind of subject matters over here. So for me directly, I have one subject matters that I want to use, and I'm going to start to collect all information there, right? Like I said, okay, even though you can actually write use five only, but if the five informations, okay, or reference that you get is not enough, find more. Simple as that. Find more, okay, how to draw those tails, all right, the tails of those wolf there that you might going to be used later on to combine with your human kind of subject matters there. Right? All these kind of information you have to collect that first before you're going to draw them, okay? Before you're going to draw them there, right? Okay, now it's time to find human or human warriors there, okay, for example, okay? Mix them out, okay? But if you, uh, what we call that, Right. If you find some of the pictures, okay, from the warriors or human warriors, okay, you can find some of the reference from the games there. So it can be a part of those influence there, inspirations, but I love to find, all right, a more what we call that, more into realistic kind of reference there. For example, like this one, okay. So maybe this kind of reference can be used to guide me to develop more kind of proper kind of way to imagine those kind of uh, what we call that subject matters and also the characters later on. Okay, that's what I say. Okay, find the right and proper kind of reference there, like this one. I see there, okay. Okay, we have this kind of reference with me, okay, this one. It's quite nice, okay, we can use them, okay, as a part of our studies there, because we're not going to use commercials there. And I'm going, I'm not going to use this reference, okay, to my personal kind of NFT or, or client kind of works, there, okay. Sometimes it can be used, okay, because it's a free, web, free kind of works there, right? Free kind of, we call that images over here. It's a copyright, uh, free copyright images there. So I'm going to find more reference over here. Maybe I want to draw a woman there, okay? Real uh, human women kind of pose there. So maybe a, a wolf-like characters there, okay? It can be a woman there, okay? Quite interesting and challenging at the same time. So find there right, more there. Right? So most of those poses and reference that we have here. Okay, for example, these characters, right? It's basically has been portrayed as a character that this kind of poses, this kind of subject matters, their models. Basically, it's portrayed as a part of the uh, warriors there, okay? Or, or characters, okay? okay? The way basically she poses, you know, the dress, they can be part of this character. You don't have to think too much from there. Okay, but we don't actually draw from other people's works. We draw from other people's reference there, okay? Model reference there. It's quite interesting there, okay? So find reference not from pictures from those illustrations, but from uh, the real kind of models there. And you see, okay, a lot of people actually draw them back, okay, using those kind of styles there. It's quite nice. So... This kind of, we call that reference there, okay? Sinister Six there, okay, from those, one of those uh, Star Wars, I believe, right, okay? Kind of what we call that, wolf there. So find more reference, okay? This one is too common there, okay? Too common there. Find more reference that can guide, okay? This is, I think, from 3D images there, okay? Or the real models there, okay? I don't know that, right? This came from uh, computer generated kind of images there. So this one came from computer generated kind of images there, which is I try not to use them. How about this one there, right? I try to find a full body, like guys, okay? It's better there, right? 
This one is also quite interesting, is it? It has uh, characters of animals at the same time that we can actually mix them up later on. So the face you can do put into the more like a tigers, lions, or okay, kind of uh, what we call that. Kind of what we call that head or facials there. Quite interesting there, right? Okay. All these kind of reference there for us to use first. Some of the poses quite interesting there, okay, to work. Because the main objective right now, there, guys, this one there, okay, maybe the head, I can actually draw a back change, okay, from those metal kind of armors, okay, kind of headgears into a real human head there, okay, a little bit more gory there, okay, styles there. So, all this kind of information that you actually gather right now, right, hopefully can give you more kind of understanding how to perform it well later on when you have this kind of reference there right this one quite very daring there right but try not to use that right? not try to basically to influence some of those erotic kind of elements there right i don't want to use them there this one thing from paintings i want to want to use them so don't use painting kind of reference there okay Use a very actual kind of reference like this is more better there, right? Okay, real humans kind of models there, and you redesign them back. Okay, takes some time for for me to to download there, right? To upload them. We can actually re rearrange them back later on. Right? Now, there's a lot of interesting guys. Okay, this is okay ballerina. Okay, you can actually change into like a swan kind of elements there. All right. Okay? It doesn't have to be warriors. There, sometimes we can use also ballerina like this one. There, okay, a flamingo kind of shapes there. Okay, we never know. There, okay, we play with those kind of imaginations there. Right? Quite interesting there, right? All this element all together. Hmm. So you have three weeks there to develop there, okay? So the most interesting thing that we can find from you, you can find enough kind of what we call that samples that can guide you to develop your kind of ideas. Spend more time, find a good kind of reference. This one quite nice there, right? The postures itself. But all these kind of postures, it has to be represent also the animal itself, okay? What type of animal that you guys can use, okay? Sometimes, okay, wolf is not in, it's not quite very properly can be used there, okay? So this kind of what we call the postures, maybe a bird, they basically the right, okay? And eagles that may be there, okay? That can be used a part of it. So what I can do from here, okay, I find more, like I try to find more, okay? Maybe a hawk or eagles there. Okay. Kind of shifts there, right? Okay. Eagles or hawk, right? Find more, like okay, a reference before you decide that, right, okay? All these kind of things, like guys, really, really have an interesting kind of elements that you guys can use. Okay? Yeah. All right. Quite interesting there, guys. It's quite different and also really, really engaging with our ideas over here. You guys have any questions there? Do you really understand how, what is going on right here, right now? What I'm trying to do over here? I'm going to gather all information that first before I'm going to construct and design them. Okay.
what else that we can actually okay, this is this is a very good kind of prop there right that i can be used there in the future eh? prop there okay those elements there okay of props there right so very so to develop those imaginations okay all those kind of information that you guys have before basically okay by watching some of the animations some movies you guys can use them back all right all those kind of performations right now to construct back again to your elements there okay what else that we can actually find there, okay some let's just say sky clouds there right okay sky and ground there right okay, for example there so you need to find also this kind of information there, okay? medieval uh medieval there okay? i don't know whether i felt the right kind of what we call that and it goes there right kind of ground there okay maybe there right okay so find some of those elements that you can find from here and you go forest there right okay? I think it's quite very detailing there I okay? I don't want to spend too much detail on the background there, right? So if you didn't have that kind of what we call that medieval kind of grounds over here. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one can be used there okay, later on. Some of the ground like this one there right some of those landscape here so i want to find some of the backgrounds that can be used there right? but the background has to be represent also the characters that i'm going to use okay this is some illustrations there okay but don't use them at, you can use as part of your reference and reference uh your inspirations but don't use as a part of your way to copy them back there right for example, like, okay, let's just say uh, you want to, okay, creatures there, right? Okay, creatures from game characters there, right? Okay. You can use as a part of your guideline, I okay, influence there. But it doesn't have to be used as a part of your way to copy them back this drawing there. That's why I don't want you guys to copy from all this kind of reference over here, okay? I don't want you guys to use it as a part of your way. Okay, you can actually write, get some reference influence there, right? But don't use as a part of your way to approach them back into your own works by copying. Copy there, right? Okay. Those works into your own design there, right? Uh, that's the thing that we try to avoid there. Is. Okay. So don't let it as a part of your to design as a part of your routine okay to copy the whole things i don't want you guys to do those kind of things there okay but you can use as a reference that works but don't use as a part of your way to copy the whole thing into copy them back there okay remember i can copy there right okay? just copy or put those ideas there but use as a part of those reference to guide you. Okay, I want to design something a bit more similar to this one. But I changed a little bit later on there, okay? Uh, but I'm using as part of my guidance that gets works on that. So this is something that you can use as a part of your resources there. Okay, a part of your resources, but you're not actually 
been bound or bind by to copy the whole things exactly like this one again we don't draw the cb cb characters at the time there okay but you can actually get some inspirations okay from all this stuff there okay i'm not saying it's not good okay but you can use them so don't need to submit reference also okay yeah of course you need to submit those references there that's why i collect all these kind of information there right okay because you saw basically just now there okay I actually write submit all this kind of reference all this is kind of what we call that mood board where we call that okay this week submit this kind of reference we call it mood board there okay and some sketches there okay all right reference has to be something okay and reference has to be a part of your influence that you work on that Okay, this is my first kind of sketches there. So if I don't want to use that kind of reference, okay, let me say I don't want to use them directly. So I'm going to apply different kind of what we call that uh, samples of works there. Okay? So I might going to use different kind of characters from now on there. For okay? so examples, there right. I saw. But some of the good reference from, let me see, can I actually mix up this one? Okay. Let's so mix up with this one, there, right? Let me do some selections over here there first. Okay. Copy over here. Paste right here there first, there, right? As a part of my idea developments, okay. so I'm going to save this one. Okay, progression number three. Okay, now what I'm going to do next? Okay, I'm going to find some of those animals that can be represent this character for example there right okay, let's just say i'm using this check look at the positions itself can i use these positions there All right can i use these positions for examples copy the right pace so what i'm going to do next so we're here okay I'm going to put it to gradient map that first. Then I'm going to flip horizontals. Okay. At the size. Okay. Make it a little bit more properly there, I guess. Eh? The type of design there, I think, that I want to use there, right? And the other thing that I can do from here, there, guys, okay? So close this one there first. What I can do from here, I can basically, okay, try to improvise, okay, these visuals there, okay? How actually I'm going to improvise them? So I'm going to use liquefy for a while there, okay? Uh, and a little bit on the shoulders there. To make it, this is, this is a non-human there, okay? of characters there yeah. it is a non-human kind of characters there so there has to be a bit kind of like super kind of we call that shapes over here and some other things i can we can actually improvise later on there right? oops Right, I'm using Lukefy that works on that. So the what we call that the legs. Also, I'm going to extend a little bit on the muscle itself because those birds there, like or hog, basically, like has a very small kind of what we call that leg. Okay, but the, uh, the the what we call the foot itself, there, right? So I'm going to use those creativity. That's why I say, okay, 
we have to use our creativity that works with our design itself there. We don't actually use the whole thing. Okay, according to those ref to those reference only there, right? But we try to mix them up all right now. To make it a bit more logic as a human character, uh, a superhuman kind of character there. Okay. Yeah. So we have to work smart, I reckon. Maybe to develop that kind of way of working there, right? That's what I said, okay. We use technologies that you to develop basically our skills right now. Not only try to apply according to what we have, but we try to mix them up there. Right? So technologies help us to develop more creativities here. Okay, creativities there, right? Can you see here? The difference right now? Okay. A bit more proper there, right? Okay? On the presentation itself. Save the file there first. I find quite very useful for me to use, okay, even though the bird itself, okay, this one there, okay, the head itself, okay, I can actually write extend a little bit. That's what I say, guys, okay. Activities is on limitations there, okay. I can actually write extend a little bit. Okay, this one there, right? The beak. I'm going to extend a little bit more. Okay. Because later on, we are going to redraw them back again. Face, eyes a bit more fearless there, right? We actually can redraw them back again, right? Okay? Redesign them back. Yeah. See? You see, right? Okay? Smart way to imagine your design, right? Okay? But this is basically one type of way, there, guys, because in order to develop your original design later on, but not for, for this project, right? Okay? You need more kind of research there, guys. Okay, this is basically one of the basic steps there. Okay, to work on that to start with, to start with that first. Okay, it doesn't mean that this is going to be or oh, you you complete this task. Basically, you can become a character designer. It's not like that. Basically, guys, normally there. Okay, you have to keep on practicing and develop your original ideas at the same time there. But what we did right now, basically, one of those. How actually I. I just want to I just want to basically uh, what we call that demonstrates one of the way how actually right we develop those ideas. Okay, develop those ideas there. All right, how we develop those ideas there, right? Not basically right. Oh, I can become a character designer right now, okay. Maybe you can, right? Okay, but it's beyond basically all this kind of thing there because this design basically were made by other people there okay same thing basically okay that you need to design your own kind of elements later on that works but what i can do right now basically the right thing i can try to sketch out basically my kind of ideas over here okay according to the reference that first Right. Okay. I can sketch out basically my ideas right here. That first. Okay. By the help of those reference there. Right. But the our main objective right now, there, guys. What is it? We still need to develop basically our our kind of drawing skills. Okay. We still need to develop basically our our drawing skills over here. Okay, wash carefully back again. How I actually construct these ideas over here.
See, if I am I actually right, just trace those drawings there? No, there, right? I'm going to construct that back again according to those reference as a guide. What else that we can actually refer from this original kind of pictures then? So she had basically this kind of what we call that styles there over here. Can I actually write redraw back again the head? Maybe the ears there. Hmm. Can you draw those ears there back again? All right. So I'm basically using a human kind of looks of her, a human kind of poster there, okay, on this design itself there. Right? So this one okay, here, we, we design, we develop basically some sketches kind of way of working there. Right? We sketch those ideas there first. So this is basically those design itself, okay? So rough sketches there, guys, okay? Right now I'm trying to develop those rough kind of ideas there. Yes. Even though the posters of hand there, okay? If I want to draw them back, I will try to get the right kind of posture step is let's just say right i want to show her hand okay what we can do basically right okay, from here find different kind of postures there manipulate them back so even though this design itself i try to improvise them i didn't actually trace the whole thing there right This part basically, I'm going to because she's basically a woman, a lady there, okay. And this part basically, okay, is too much kind of what we call that accessories. So what I can do there, okay, uh, I can actually write use different kind of what we call that buckles there. To differentiate basically those from the element that I saw from here, there, right? Because I don't want to draw all this kind of uh, what we call that all this kind of uh, unnecessary kind of accessories. There, okay? it will basically slow my progressive of my kind of design. There, right? So as illustrators. You have that kind of ability to change directly, but when you actually try to uh, construct basically back again, uh, basically those, uh, what we call that, uh, those kind of shadows and shades there, right? Uh, you have to refer some of the line, highlight and tone back again. Okay. So this is basically my rough kind of sketches there that came from this reference over here. Can you see that? So if you go through with it, those designs, all right, it's quite balanced with those kind of positions there. The only thing that I quite not satisfied with the hand is Sarah, okay, because she's using basically those kind of, uh, she has a, a, a right, a very subtle kind of pose like this one there, okay. So even though this kind of lightsabers there, okay, that she has, I actually, right, from my rough, from my kind of understanding, even though you can actually, right, redesign your own kind of what we call that elements over here, 
So what I can do, right? I will design my own kind of savings there. Okay. And this is basically a development idea there, guys. Like it doesn't have to be correctly or finalized yet. I just play around with my kind of understanding there. I want to quite nice directly it looks like this. Because it's a woman kind of sabers there. It has to be look thin there. Right? So all the thing that I've done basically has a reason there, okay? Because if I draw too huge, very sometimes as a woman, it doesn't balance with her kind of postures of the world, of the body itself, there, right? I have to be careful with it when I draw them. Okay, the hand is uh, from here, there, right? Okay? If I saw some of the reference that we have right now, let's just say that I want to use, okay, Okay, let's just say this posture still, okay? What I can do, I can actually write, use this hand over here, copy that, right? You see, right, okay, how actually we develop the more smartest way that works. But it has to be come with the balance itself, that, right? So this is some of the things that will help, okay, see, guys? It's fit there, right? So choose the right kind of reference, also really important right here. So maybe stretch a little bit and extend a little bit there, okay, to make it more balanced there. The hands a bit more longer there. So right now, I'm going to grade and map that first, reduce the opacities, all right? These ladies over here, okay, you can close them first. All right, this one, they're basically, okay. Okay, put it right here. So basically, right, okay. The hands over here, they're right. So what I can do refer to those design back again. Of course, those design there, okay, that I actually saw there, right? And we saw basically just now, a bit more bigger, okay, on the size itself right here. Okay, the arms over here, there, right? And then mix them up, right, okay? You see the record how actually we develop back again our designs according to your our reference over here but still look balanced there right so right now this kind of uh sphere there okay i didn't even, uh, I, I can draw different kind of real approach right based on my uh, my kind of Understanding there, right? So I'm going to use this kind of methods that you was there. Oh, actually, I get all these ideas there, guys. Okay. I'm also playing games there, right? Okay? Previously, but not all the time there, right? So I'm using back again my kind of understanding of designing, okay, for so many years there, okay, to work with this kind of ideas there. That. See? So this is basically my rough ideas and sketches. Okay, that came from our uh, project three there, okay? Sketches there, okay? But we can do more back again from here if we want to. Can you see, okay, how I to construct those kind of designs, simplify some of the elements there before I'm going to add some shadings and and, and, and structures later on okay, to develop those kind of ideas there. So it's not all about tracings, it's not all about copying there, okay? How about you manipulate back again those ideas okay? 
idea number one, I think. And you begin to, uh, what we call that. You start to construct back again based on your understanding there. Okay? And your creativity at the same time. Looks quite easy the racket works, but it's not the racket, guys. Because it came from those experiences, but I actually have shown you guys how actually I developed those kind of ideas there, right? So this is some of the thing that I can actually write, show you guys right here. How basically I get all these kind of ideas from. And one of the most important thing here, okay, that you have to remember here, how I actually construct those kind of line works of problems. Okay. To develop those ideas over here. And also my kind of drawing techniques at the same time here. Okay. How to mix up all those kind of informations visually before you're going to design that game. Draw properly your line works before you're going to add some sort of understanding on shades and shadows at the same time there. Okay. Any questions there so far? Any questions so far? Basically, right now, what I'm trying to do over here, I'm going to try to add some silhouette there first, shapes of these characters right here, there, right? So using basically brush strokes and paint over first. Okay, uh, those shapes. I can do some selections if I want to, there, right? Okay, but instead of doing some selections, I just paint it up first, there, right? So when I actually select this kind of methods, okay, this kind of way of working there, right? So what I can do later on, I can actually uh, select only these layers to add some shadings there, okay? A bit more quick and faster there, right? Okay? A bit more faster if I want to add some shadings there. If some of the areas right here, we can actually delete there, right? Some of those, uh, for me, some sloppy kind of way of working there, right? Of selections. Yes? What are the questions here? So, how many design what we want to design? Okay, five. Five. Minimum is five, the right? Okay, minimum is five there. One there, right? For final artwork, we have to submit one there, okay? For week 14, one final artwork only. But your sketches minimum is five, okay? Progressively. Let's just say this week, you start to sketch your ideas, okay? To compile all this kind of formations, okay? Second week, you start to develop some detailings there. And we're going to combine uh, the elements of prop together with uh, with our designer, okay, with our character designer. Okay? Let's just say I have a few number kind of elements of prop there, okay, or background there, okay, that can be worked together. I'm going to show you guys right here later on, okay, after this, that how it works there, right? So I'm give you guys some general kind of way of working there first. Because I know basically you're going to have a bit quite difficult some people basically want to mix up all this idea together there but hopefully what I show you guys right now how actually I some people actually design the work in their head right okay? I show you guys how I actually make it in in basically in the visuals kind of in, in the what we call in the proper kind of way right here directly okay? basically if I don't even though you have those kind of what we call that you have your own kind of freedom to choose your reference. I did basically show you guys how to guide you guys right now, basically, okay? 
how to develop your ideas. Okay, I'm not actually leaving you guys behind there. I still actually guide you how to develop those ideas there. See the silhouette again. Okay? Good characters came from the very good silhouettes there. Okay, good characters came from good silhouette there, right? Okay. So this one I'm going to properly okay, manage to change. All right, the reference over here okay, using this gradient map. Okay. Maybe the grayscale there, the whole thing. Okay, this is basically my let's see. A project tree, all right. Week 11, there, right? Idea development, there, right? Okay, this is. Idea number one for these characters again. Okay? Who actually is characters are again? You can you can name the characters if you want to there. Right? Okay, you can name the characters if you want to there. Right? So what I can do from here? Okay? Stand for work with the compositions there, for example. Okay, save the file there first. So I'm going to open up new files over here. Because the orientation are going to be in portrait, okay. So I'm going to use some portrait kind of. Decisions, okay, for these illustrations over here, right? So 11 progressions number four, all right? I'm going to combine with some elements of, let me say, I want to make this character standing on this prop directly, this tree directly, this kind of branches, but the branch will get a bit more bigger directly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crop this one the right first. Okay, it's a reference. Place it right here. Let's like just say this is only a rough idea, there, guys. Okay. It doesn't mean you have to use the whole thing in the in the, in the, what we call that in your finals there. But how actually I develop those ideas here? I want to show you guys how I actually develop those ideas there. So what I can do right right here, basically, this is the full ground there, right? What I'm going to do here, okay? I'm going to start to draw basically those three. So the line works, okay? The consistent of those, those line works, there, guys. Can you see there, right? I'll actually draw those three. I didn't actually trace them, but I'm going to use those structures of my line works there to develop basically those kind of three elements here. So etching kind of line and strokes really important right here. We develop those kind of three kind of elements there. Three kind of textures there, right? Okay, three kind of textures there, okay? Right now I'm using uh, basically some comic styles, okay? Of line works there to approach on my illustrations there. I didn't actually trace the whole thing there. I'm using a lot of etching kind of line works to develop uh, this kind of drawings there. Some of those textures using those uh, circling shades there, right? Okay? Or, or line shades there. Pick those textures using those line there, right? Hmm. 
mixed data, right? The mixed data that I combine from here. So if I think if I want to basically, right, uh, going to combine, if I'm going to color the, uh, the whole things right here, can you see the quality of line there, guys? All right, the quality of line that I create right here. Uh, that's what makes those design, those last, those line works quite very, very, uh, add that kind of, that kind of values there, right? So right now, if I do some selections like this, okay, so I combine those lines there, right? And I'm going to invert them there, okay, using the inverse there, okay, kind of selections there, right? And I can actually create also those four browns, okay, add new layers there first, okay, add those four browns there, right? Okay, see? In the foreground itself, there, right? You hear the foregrounds over here? All right. So, rough sketches there, rough sketches of my work there, right? What else that we can do from here? So we don't trace them, guys, okay? Remember that, okay? I didn't actually teach you guys to trace, but I teach you guys how to compose your ideas, right? Compose your ideas there. Compose your ideas at the same time. Gradient map. Later on, I can actually redraw those background there, right? The sky is there itself, there, right? I can draw them back. Okay, let's just say I want to find some of the pictures of sky there, right? Okay? This one I can delete them first. Okay, I do some selection just now. Basically, right, I have deleted those kind of backgrounds there, right? So what I can do, I'm actually giving you guys some tips how to work with those backgrounds. Okay, uh, cloud there, right? Cloud and sky is there. So find the right kind of composition of clouds there. It works on that. So let's just say that, right, maybe this cloud's quite interesting over here. Okay, save those images there first. This cloud is also quite interesting. Okay, with those compositions that I, that, that I actually saw there, right? So if you have that kind of Understanding, okay, how to work on that, okay. You have practiced themselves, okay, and look into a lot of reference there later on. You will know how to get all these informations back again, guys. Don't worry, there. That's why you have to be practiced a lot, okay. Copy this one first, paste right here. You don't have to find a very uh, the, this information that you actually find right now, okay. We have this kind of reference over here because we're using grayscale tone there okay. so right now all these information that you have it can be used either a part of those image manipulation on your presentation or you can actually write redraw them back if i want to redraw them right okay i have to make sure that i'm going to reduce the opaxi piece over here there first this one also i'm going to reduce your opaxi piece there first okay so this is basically the shades for your foreground. Then I'm going to stash a little bit right here on those mountains over here. Even though I can draw my own mountains there, guys, okay, but I just want to show you guys basically how actually I'm going to develop all those kind of ideas together there again. So the cloud itself, the right. So I can I can use image manipulations to work with that, but I kind of I want to use basically this kind of ideas to draw those clouds, that those formations of those clouds there. Okay. 
we're not actually just tracing them there guys it is beyond tracing them that we use as a guide that you use so if you think that you can actually use your imaginations a lot right okay, this is the time for you to prove them right but what i show you guys right now right the rest of you guys how actually we construct those ideas using those reference and develops our sketches that way okay and you saw that right how it works So how we construct those ideas all together, right, combine them, mix them up to work on that. The final illustrations might be one there, okay? But the progressions of compositions, uh, try to apply different kind of backgrounds, are going to be five different kind of compositions there, okay? Next week's five different compositions based on the characters there. This week, we develop those kind of informations, gather all those kind of uh, reference there, do a little bit kind of five different sketches there, okay? To construct your ideas there first. You can do more than five if you want to. But don't basically satisfy yet before you complete them, okay? Because I know basically some of you guys can do it more better, okay? But there are, I think the rest of you guys still need more time to develop that kind of understanding and skill, okay? Along the way. Okay, the shadows itself, all these kind of things there. This is basically a rough sketches there right rough sketches to develop your kind of understanding before you're going to construct them back okay what i actually been show you guys right now is generally one of the way how actually uh and illustrators basically develop those ideas inside their head there right okay? but right now we're using reference to develop them first because not all people can imagine really well there guys but i want to show you guys how basically people can imagine based on their understanding inside your head okay i try to visualize them construct them back and guide you guys that okay how people think that all this information that we take there okay from here came from what i have inside my head mix them up all together there okay no i don't want to see those imaginations came from inside there okay you have to visualize them show them they basically right okay if you say okay uh, i taking from some of the things from outside there okay i, I get some idea from from all these pictures there i want to see those reference there right i don't want to see you guys just bullshit with me there, okay or i i didn't have this reference there. i just draw from my from my own imagination i don't want to hear that i want to see the proof where you get those ideas from i show you guys today how i get all these ideas from there right is it true there guys yes or no why or and there right Please respond on that. I show you guys basically how actually construct all these ideas together there. So hopefully you guys can use this kind of guideline to develop more further on your understanding there. Okay, if you want to imagine some of the elements, I imagine some of the elements of it, like this sword over here. I improvised the shapes over here, all right? I did not basically use the whole thing according to the reference there. I combined them, mixed them up manipulate them right okay? using all these kind of informations there you guys have learned those image manipulation kind of studies there uh what we call that assignments there right and method and tools there i'm using the same thing but i mix them up with my illustration skills there to draw that's what basically what you guys learn from other subjects you mix them up all together right here there's more things that we can do from here there, guys okay there's more beyond what you see for the few hour sessions over here because you got around three weeks to compile the whole things you can do better than this one i i i actually right believe that but you have to follow properly how actually you're going to works right here and the most important thing here can you see the drawing line there right develop the good quality and comparing your drawing line mine and you can learn from there I'm using basically right now, I'm not, I'm not using sketches there, right? I can use sketches if I want to, right? Your, uh, what we call the hot pencils that you draw. But I want to draw a bit more fastest. And I want to show you guys some of the different kind of techniques that you works with those illustrations. I'm using ink and ink pen brushes that works on that. Okay? 
So no matter how, what kind of brush you're going to use, these two different brushes there, okay? The quality of line you have to work from here. You have to work with the quality of line there, right? Okay? All right, guys. Any questions? Any questions there, guys? Any inquiries there? Is it hard or easy there, guys, to work on it? Huh? Some of you guys who actually can imagine well, okay, it's going to be easy for you guys that it works. But the rest of you guys learn basically back again from my kind of approach, okay, how actually I approach those ideas that first. It's not all about design, okay? For me, this, this design is nothing there, right? Because I just draw from other people kind of reference there, even though using human reference there, okay? From the cosplay kind of design there, right? But uh, basically draw from real people there, not from other people's kind of illustrations there, right? Remember that. We don't copy from other people's reference, uh, 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 what we call the illustration or paintings there, but we draw back again from the cosplay kind of real life kind of reference there. That's the difference there, guys, okay, to, to start with. By right, to design original characters, you have to redesign with more further from here. There's a lot of process, okay, but we don't have to think about this process yet because you guys were only uh, first semester there, okay? So the ideas of developments, whatever that I show right now, is a part of the process that you have to get in your mind over here. Use as a part of your discipline and routine and then you're going to uh, get used to it and develop more further on your your kind of way of working in the future. There. You can see, okay, from my sketches over here, the distance there between the foreground, all right, the backgrounds, and the character itself, the focal point there. Right? And you can see those kind of a sense of emotions, the, the, the kind of uh, what we call that some sort of energy from these illustrations there, right? I can do more than this, right? But you have a limited time. You can see basically my progressions later on with, with other classes there, right? Okay, hopefully there. Okay? But this week, this is a part of those samples that you guys can produce. Other than this kind of developments that you saw from this one, okay? Sketches there, right? Reference that you Okay? Any questions there? Eh? Reference from the vintage photos, can or not? I don't know that, right? Okay? You have to show, you have to basically, right, show some samples there first. Right, vintage photos, right? There's a lot of vintage photos, okay? You have to provide first those reference to see how actually you're going to work from there. All right? What do you mean by vintage photos there, right? Can I right? Yeah, I can. Right. You want to draw your great grandfather become like this one, okay? For example, there, okay? Maybe there, okay? But we have to draw into it. Uh, we're going to come up with some illustrations there. It can be. Maybe there, okay? I don't know your ideas, is, right? Okay? okay? But maybe like this one that you went to show there, okay? It can be. Okay. It's a part of a character, but, but you have to be more creative there, okay, to work on that. Okay? You have to be more creative to con construct and compose those kind of ideas there. So can we submit the progressions like this? Yeah, it can be there, right? But if you can complete, if you can conclude with those uh, sketches, Right here with the background first for this week is more better, right? Because you have the a more ahead kind of plan, okay, before you're going to decide the right. Okay. Because right now, which I show right now, okay, within this one week, uh, with, with this uh, first week, uh, 11 week kind of progressions, I actually compose the back, the rough sketches of backgrounds. At the same time, I design those kind of characters. There, right? It can be there, right, okay, to work on that. 
Okay. Yeah, the final week, suppose we have to add some shading slide right here. But if you if you you will basically will experience okay in the second week, maybe directly okay, I'm going to add some shadings a bit. Just to just to develop this kind of understanding on the light and shadows there before we finalize them. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some some ideas, okay? Before we go to finalize them, we're going to study the shadows and shades there first before we add some details there. So we're going to separate between light and shadows there, okay? Two type of those kind of lighting that before we to add some detailing there, okay, on week 13. As usual, there, right? Okay, it takes time basically to add some of the details there, guys. I even sometimes don't have any patience there to wait there, okay? Normally, okay, for my work because I try to work as fast as I can some of the things like this one, okay, because this kind of thing for me basically doesn't have any kind of what we call that. Some restrictions, some of what we call that, some ideas that it's quite free for us to develop there, right? Okay. So, any, any else there? Any questions there? I hope I to answer your question there, Mingwai. Any questions? Any kind of inquiries there? Any kind of inquiries? No? Maybe later, okay? So if you don't have any inquiries there, guys. All right, thank you very much for having me today. So I'll see you guys on the next sessions next week. Don't forget to submit your kind of progressions this Sunday that works there, right? So thank you very much for having me today. Have a good lunch, have a good kind of rest, right, okay? And develop a bit more further on your ideas later on, right, okay? And keep on showing me progressions there, okay? So during this kind of what we call that time there, right, okay, to work on that. So happy Monday at the same time. And all the best. Have a good kind of what we call that way of working there, okay? And take care of yourself, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys.